Hi, Preston Sandlin here with Home Inspection Carolina. Today we're going to do a uh, outside uh, inspection of air conditioning unit. Um, there's some more we would do inside, but this is just the outside part. Um, the first thing we're going to do is look and see how level the unit is because if it's not level, um, it can cause premature wear on the system because of the lubricant and the Freon. Uh, so we always check out to see, try to find how level. This one's off just a little bit, not too bad. Uh, could probably be shimmed. Uh, it's it's on a uh, platform down at the bottom, and I will flip that around here so you can see. Um, there, and there's no brush around it. That's another thing you want to make sure of um, is that uh, you know there's not a whole lot of brush around really close. These units are pretty close together, but um, there's no brush or anything like that. There is a three inch clearance uh, from the ground, and there's you know three foot. Uh, above it and around it uh, and that sort of thing um, so okay the levelness not too bad the next thing we're going to do is check the fins out uh, to make sure there's no damage um, make sure there's not like cottonwoods a lot of stuff like that um, and check that out um, looks pretty good this is a train it's a pretty pretty nice unit um, so that looks okay all right so the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to check there's the uh, cutoff. We'll talk about that in just a second. But uh, I'm gonna go to, I like to go to the uh, the plate on it. A uh, couple of things to note here. This unit was uh, manufactured uh, 2005, it's 2018. So uh, it's approximately, uh, let's see, uh, 10, 13 years old. Um, and then we're gonna look for the tonnage. So I'm looking at the serial number and it's 048. So you're going to divide 12,000 BTUs into 48, which is going to be a four-ton unit. It's a pretty big unit. Um, five tons usually about as big as I'll see on residential. Uh, this is a four-ton unit. So a uh, pretty big unit. It's 13 years old. Um, it's a train. The other thing we're going to look for is the maximum breaker, which is going to be uh, 40 amps. So when we get to the breaker box inside, we got to make sure that, uh, you know, that uh, it, it, it's not more than 40. Um, because that that would be a problem the other thing we want to check is to make sure that there is a cutoff um, and that the wiring for it looks okay so this is the cutoff for this air conditioning unit um, and it has to be one within sight or reach of the unit so that if a, uh, a person is working on it they can cut it off um, and you know it, it can't be activated while they're working on it um, you want to check the conduit to that make sure the wiring looks pretty good um, it's secured um, looks good let's go around to the other side it is a little tight around here I will say that that's a uh, sprinkler system there um, that looks okay all right so the next thing I'm gonna look at is the Freon lines um, we have a, uh, a gas line and a refrigerant I mean it's all refrigerant but a, a gas line and a liquid line the liquid line is going to be the uh, one without insulation it's going to be the smaller one the gas one is going to be the bigger line it's going to have insulation uh, it looks pretty good it's got a little wear and tear on it but uh, it's okay um, so they, they look all right um, now if it wasn't so cold it's like 40 degrees today we would run the air conditioning and try to get a differential um, but uh, right now usually when it's uh, below 65 we're not going to run trying to get a differential because uh, it, it can harm the lubricant and you know the lubricant that's in the Freon but overall the system looks pretty good um, if it was a heat pump um, the heat pump a little bit more to it than this but it's kind of like air conditioning working in reverse I would turn the heat pump on this is not a heat pump though this has gas heat and this is the air conditioner but a heat pump if it, if it were I would turn, turn on the heat pump just pump it up two or three degrees and I should see the fan uh, coming on but like I said it's a cold day um, we're not going to be able to uh, and it's this is not a heat pump this is a gas furnace with a uh, air conditioning unit and there's two other units but we're just concentrating on this unit at the top um, so it looks pretty good. Um, I like this system. Um, it's pretty good shape. We're going to check the amperage inside and make sure that's okay. Uh, the wiring, insulation, all looks good. I uh, could use a shimmer too to level it up a little bit. But all in all, 
um, not a bad system. Now when I go inside, I want to make sure that the expansion coil matches this unit. And remember, it was um, a four-ton unit, so we're looking for a four-ton unit and when we look at the expansion coil inside. This is a split system. I hope this uh, uh, video has been helpful. This is Preston Sandal with Home Inspection Carolina. Uh, if you have any questions, please go to our website, homeinspectioncarolina.com, or email us, and uh, if we don't know the answer, we'll try to find out for you. Thanks a lot.